Welcome to the final part of Wand of Gamelon. Today, the final dungeon of Wand of Gamelon. This game is very short. Now, if we didn't come here with the Fairy Lantern, every enemy and object would be invisible. And you would die very quickly. Whoa. Whoa. Fuck. Those rolling fireballs, as you saw, can attack you. They'd be invisible. I like how you got, like, spanked wow. on the butt by one, and then you turn around, stop that. It's too dark to see Ganon, but the Triforce says you can only win by falling. I wonder what that means. Impa, maybe you could see if you don't put your hands in front of your eyes. Nonsense. When you get to be my age, you'll know what I'm talking about. I'm going to go to sleep. Like a dog. Oh. Now, where's my leash? All right, I'm going inside the castle. <laughs> Be very careful. There are these falling stalactites or icicles. And falling from oh, the God. archway of the <laughs> piece of, that's a piece of shit trick. <laughs> Magic cloak again. The one right next to the door is like, hey, hey, you're going to get him. Get him, Tony. Now that the door is locked, we actually need to kill the top floating head. It has the key. Not the Wand of Gamelon. I forgot that we got the Wand of Gamelon. <laughs> I actually didn't register when she picked it up. You were like scream laughing when we got it. Uh, I was laughing too hard at the best <laughs> scene of the game. Okay. <laughs> So she said we can only win by falling. Well, there's a well. Hmm. Down we go. We you win! win. <laughs> but don't go through the grate. Oh! Because that's not the way to win. That just takes you back to the entrance. This is why. I like the thought process behind that. If you think deeper into it, Zelda peeks her head out Climbs out, realizes she's back at the beginning, closes the door, and says, Ah, fuck. Takes a lot of effort to fucking realize that you shouldn't be going through that grate. The magic cloak again. I'm gonna go broke. I have, I, even a princess has to pay rent. I should outlaw rent. Hell yeah. But for me. Aww. <laughs> the woman who owns everything. Yeah. Thinking about it? Yeah, just kill me. Just speed this <laughs> up, please. I'll, re I'll revive. I'd rather die than pay rent. There we go. You dare bring light to my land? You must die! <laughs> <laughs> Alright, well. Now you can't hurt me. Catch. <sighs> the chains! No! You haven't seen the last of me! Great. Alright. Uh, but where's Link and the king? Let's go find out. By climbing all the way up. I don't know why this thing is so fucking tall. <laughs> he might be in the Iron Maiden. <laughs> Golly. <laughs> Holy. Here I am. Why am I here? Five, <laughs> heavy footsteps. Me. Here's the I did not. Me. Please, your omnipotence, have mercy. After you've scrubbed all the floors in Hyrule, then we can talk about mercy. Take him away. Yes, my liege. I wonder what happened to Link. Oh, he was a four anyway. Stop looking at yourself. <laughs> <laughs> Ow. <What happened? laughs> Nothing, Link. We were just about to have a feast. Without right. you. <laughs> God, her face. <laughs> uh, 
And that was Wanda Gamelon. Great. <laughs> well, that was uh, something. Thank you once again, Luigi Blood. <laughs> It's a lot shorter. It's it it feels like it's weird to say. It feels like it wasn't as thought through as Faces of Evil, but I like Zelda a lot more than Link, so I like the game more. Yeah. Thank you, Tony Trippy. I kind of like this one a little more, to be honest. Like, I really do think, like, I guess for lack of a better term, the legacy of the cutscenes really carried yeah. Faces of Evil for me, where this one is like, okay, yeah, I kind of see what we're, what we're going with, or I kind of dig it. There was one of those community reanimated things for the CDI games, right? I imagine. Where, like, a group of animators, and there might be, like, a few, I feel. Yeah. Might have to look back into it. Ha! <laughs> the FBI can suck my ass. Get him. <laughs> Statute of limitations. It's been 30 years. I won! <laughs> and there we go. Like I said, Hero Mode is only in Doppler's remake. It's basically the same. It's just you take double damage. So a full heart from every hit. And I forgot where the setting is. <laughs> So we're going to go ahead and do that. And of course, I'm going to show you where the real trouble was. Oh, dear. Shocker, it's in the swamp. Oh, yeah, I imagine. You can't actually jump onto that branch. It doesn't look like you can. Oh, Christ on a cracker. I can't <laughs> believe this. <laughs> God damn it. Bullshit. That is absolute dog shit. <laughs> God, now imagine this with limited continues. <laughs> what if you had it? What were you if you were some poor child that this was like the only console you had and your dad rented this game for you and you were like close to the end and <laughs> you died? It happened to somebody. Actually, no, d no, don't just imagine this with limited continues. Imagine this with limited continues, worse move speed, and those snails can't be killed by standing next to them. Like, you, you have to jump at the right angle in order to kill those snails, otherwise you just have to maneuver around them. Well. Oh, goddammit. Uh, I learned hey. my lesson. Ah. <laughs> Instinctively, uh, I went to the left. And here's something I forgot to show off in the main game, but we got that loaf of bread. It attracts all of the Arbigos. <laughs> Prepare your ears if you play the game and you do this. All of the sound effects are also layered on top of each other. Oh, Sick. hell yeah. Oh, I didn't get to hear it. Yeah, me either. Damn it, Mickey, I was hoping to be able to drown out this hell world. It's called deafness, Jacob. <laughs> yeah, and I thought you would achieve that for me. I'm an audio engineer. Why do you think I would ever do that? Jacob puts his hand on the mirror in the morning. Why doesn't Michaela just make me deaf? I don't get it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there's the invisible boys. Yep, I did have the fairy lantern. And I also keep forgetting to show off the flute and the bell back in Faces of Evil. They're essentially the same thing. So I'm going to go ahead and show that here. Remember that the flute only works for flying enemies, but it freezes them in place. The music has touched them. Oh. Yeah, they got over it. <laughs> but, but wait a minute. All right. And as customary, We'll go back through the final dungeon on hero mode. Which is nice because I know what to do now. Gotta say, I was expecting more bat spam in this one than the last one was just flooded with the fucking keys. It's too dark to
to see Ganon, but the Triforce says you can I like how they didn't color her falling. cloak for a couple frames I there. I what that means. Oh my god, I just noticed that face. Oh. Wait, were those two guys there before? Or is yeah. this part of your remote? Okay, I just did not remember them. Probably because Zelda murdered them in three seconds. There are no new enemies in hero mode. It's entirely double damage. Mm -hmm. Died in the same place, though. And that's still bullshit. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> yeah, my brother, he knows what to do. Oh, God damn it. Magic Cloak, save me. <laughs> <laughs> From the pebbles. I think we talked about it before, but this animation studio ended up working on it. This animation studio ended up working on another game. <laughs> I got pissed for you. <laughs> <laughs> It was like a Warcraft thing, right? Yeah, it was a it was a Warcraft point and click adventure game that ended up being canceled. Okay, so I'm assuming the animations in RZ were done by like the community, like they didn't hire the studio again. I don't think that studio exists anymore. Y yeah, that's what I was thinking. They were bankrupt. They they definitely like fizzled out. From what I hear, the only people that returned for RZ were the voice actors for Link and Zelda and the background painter. Oh, that's kind of cool. I like that. That is cool. I'm trying to get up without knowing where the bladder is. There it is. My brother's dead and I'm very lonely. <laughs> These are my lonely spits. I did like how the uh, pterodactyls were like all drawn together to bread like if it was a sticky trap. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You dare bring light to my lair? You must die! <laughs> Frog face. I just like how abrupt it almost feels. <laughs> I also like how it looks like he failed to shoot electricity twice. <laughs> Shit. Uh, uh, um. Oh, this is embarrassing. Uh. Yeah, you're right. I wouldn't read me either. Uh, what a card. And then in another timeline, Ganondorf gets so fucking mad that somebody took his bit. Another me took my bit? I'm gonna sue myself. He must die. <laughs> Father! You saved me. Good. We can now play as the king. Again, added for Dopley's remake. And drawn and animated by Gebu-chan. Which is why he looks so much better than anything else in the game. <laughs> And just like with Faces of Evil, you do not need to replay the entire game with Arkinian. <laughs> you can just go straight to the final dungeon with him. <laughs> the bat is like, I'm, I'm your friend, I swear, don't punch me. But again, <laughs> with the magic cloak, this goes by very quickly. Dare bring light to my lair? The fucking cheeks when he climbs, I forgot about that. <laughs> Cheek, 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 cheek. <laughs> the cheeks! No! Ah. I think there's something wrong with the geometry <laughs> there. I don't know what's going on. Yeah, it kind of looked like he was clicking his heels a lot. I saved me! <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> oh, 
<laughs> what is this? <laughs> there are no further unlockables. And there we go. <laughs> that was one of Gamelon. And one of Gamelon's remakes special extras. <laughs> It was a, a smaller game, but I still enjoyed myself. Even though it feels like there's less ideas in this one, especially near the end with the development, I kind of enjoyed this one more than Faces of Evil still. I did too, yeah. yeah it helps that Zelda's actually charming. Yeah. Like, it, that's it's so weird how well they treated her in this game. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, they were like really respectable, respectful to her and everything. Like this was the '90s, so they could have very easily been made her be like, "Oh, I can't save Hyrule. I gotta get my makeup or some shit," you know. And so they're like, "She could be cute, but also you're gonna die. <laughs> but also, also you killed me. Good." <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> like it feels really ahead of its time. Like. That's how a character would be written in, like, an indie game now. A, 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 a case in point, or is it? Yeah, it was basically that. <laughs> yeah, it helps also that you have the magic cloak in this one. Oh, God, yeah. Which mitigates a lot of bullshit. The 10-second time limit and 10 rupee cost do not hamper your use at all. No. But yeah, um, while I would not recommend tracking down the original games, Dopley's remakes are pretty easy to find. Actually, Doppley released them publicly for like one day and then immediately took it down just to be sure that Nintendo wouldn't send him a cease and desist. Smart move. And this video is going up after Nintendo successfully sued the developers of the 3DS emulator, so probably the right move. But that was long enough for people to find it and then re-upload it elsewhere. You can find it pretty easily. And I would actually recommend giving these a go. It's an interesting, almost fresh take on them, or at least a refreshing of them. It actually sort of allows you to appreciate the good parts without getting rid of everything that makes you realize, oh, this is why these are not beloved right. treasures mm -hmm. of the past. These are the roughest of gems. <laughs> yeah, this this has given me like such an appreciation for these games, so much to the point that when I'm playing RZ, I can't help but think to myself, I wish this game was shittier. <laughs> Jacob, you are alone in that. <laughs> I wish, I wish there were, okay, maybe not permanently shittier, but I wish there was a shittier mode where it's like, okay, now that you can only control the game with two buttons, there's half as many animation frames, you move half the speed. <laughs> like, unless... Give me shittier DLC. <laughs> like, I know, like, in some old school games, you can put, like, codes or, like, Game Shark codes that would basically just fuck up all the physics and whatever. It sounds like one of those, like, hey, you unlocked garbage mode. This makes the game suck. I, just... I feel like the point of RZ was, what if the CDI games were good? <laughs> yeah, that's some hogwash, though. Give me the trash. <laughs> Jacob in a newly furnished car. Where the fuck is my cement wheels? This is bullshit. Well, there's no charm to a car that doesn't work. There's plenty of charm to a shitty video game. <laughs> I want the car to blow up when I turn on the, when I turn the key in the ignition. Editing Michaela coming in to point out. Jacob's not totally off the mark, actually. If you beat RZ on hero mode, you unlock classic mode, which reintroduces some of the stupid things. Not like the worst frame rate, but you need to crouch in order to open the menu, and you have limited continues. So there is a little bit of that in RZ, actually. You know, I'm starting to I'm starting to think that I just have an appreciation for unpleasant experiences that is uh, that I thought was more universal than it is. Last year, I did a, a series of charity streams where if, if people donated, I would eat one of the bean boozled beans, uh, you know, those jelly beans that taste terrible. I think they taste awful, but I also think that's kind of a fun thing to do, especially in a scenario like that. Whenever I offer is like, hey, you want to try these beans? They might suck. It's kind of fun, right? They just straight faced like, no, I don't. Are you insane? Well, <laughs> unequal equivalence there. You had a purpose with a charity stream. Well, OK, I wouldn't. <laughs> true. I, I, I'm not saying I would eat those beans like as a snack on my own, but like at a party. 
like when you have friends over, it's like, hey, I got these beans. Some of them taste bad. Want to try? Everyone's like, no, you fucking weirdo. Why would I eat? Because it's kind of fun. Because it's kind of fun to eat the <laughs> shitty beans. You're like a really awkward version of the Riddler. Like, now that you're at my festivities, <laughs> eat the beans from my bombs, stranger. <laughs> Is, am I that weird for this? <laughs> like... <laughs> Like, I get what you're trying to say. Like, you you appreciate the novelty of something that inherently sucks. Yeah. Like, I understand that. It's just the way you're describing it. Like, I was at a party the other day. I tried some fucking beans. Like, I'm some guy in a fucking no. I guess the only correct answer there is, yes, you are alone in that. All right, fine. Out my elbow. <laughs> How fun was that, Jacob? Oh, it was great. How many of you guys ever tried to bang your elbow? You know, like the sensation of like, now you have that experience of the pain of you banging your elbow. Okay, Don't you yeah. Got, am I alone in that? Do I want it? All right, yeah, I guess I'm an absolute <laughs> goddamn freak. <laughs> Man, next time I go to a party, I'm just going to bring regular jelly beans. Like, <laughs> some of them taste like cherry. <laughs> well, no, don't tell them. <laughs> well, you don't know. At that point, the fun is entirely for yourself. So, like, embrace it. <laughs> don't you want to try some of my shitty beans? I don't know. Are they poisoned? Why do you really want me to try something disgusting? You know, another example of this, like, this is getting, like, we are officially off topic, but this is fun. Mm -hmm. uh, like, when... <laughs> when I would try to convince CJ to play Animal Crossing Amiibo Festival with me, it's like, it, the game sucks. It'll be fun to play a round or two, like maybe with a couple drinks. And they're just like straight faced. No, I'm not playing that with you. Jacob, has being a content creator skewed your understanding of what people want to do? Because all of this sounds like something you would only do if you were trying to get views on YouTube. Motherfucker. <laughs> Look, Jacob, if you asked me to play Amiibo Festival with you, I would because I know it's diarrhea and not fun, but at least we can bullshit over it. Exactly. <laughs> that is my, like, that, for at least that scenario, that's my fucking point. I, you can bullshit I, and it's fun. Yeah, I think the problem is how you're pitching it because you pitched it to CJ as, hey, you know that beloved franchise you like? What if we play this fucking piece of shit that you don't like? Like, of course. Fucking. <laughs> I, you know what? I, I realized that I'm kind of out there in this mindset. I didn't realize it was this uproariously, hilariously different from how everyone else thinks. There's not even like, oh, yeah, we get where you're going from. Jacob, you're a freak. What is wrong with you? Wanting to eat bean boozle beans while playing Amiibo Festival? You fucking asshole. <laughs> Anyway, that was uh, oh. the dissecting Jacob's broken brain hour. <laughs> Tune in next time for the Let's Play of Arzette at the, the, the Jewel of Faramore. So I should say this now. Arzette will be the next LP, at least for me. Arzette is just a little over twice as long as one of these. So essentially the length of both of these games combined, plus one part, seven parts long. That's how long I was able to cut it down to. I know it's Far too late in the video to be saying this, so nobody's going to notice, but I'm going to say it anyway. No, we're not doing Zelda's Adventure. For one, we didn't reach that stretch goal in the GoFundMe. We're doing RZ because I actually want to LP that. It is actually fun. Zelda's Adventure is its own kind of bad. I'm at the point in my life where I don't actually want to subject myself to something that I know I'm not going to enjoy. Like, even for the sake of views or anything. I'm only a few years away from my mid-30s. I have other things I need to worry about. <laughs> I'm on Estradiol now. I like living finally. I'm not doing that. <laughs> you know, I still I still owe people a stream of me playing Alone in the Dark 2008 in one sitting because Travis Touchdown didn't get in Smash. Oh, I probably won't do that. <laughs> oh, bully him. Bully no. him. <laughs> don't do that. No, don't do that. Don't actually do that. Don't bully him for not doing Alone in the Dark 2008. Now people will. But I can't wait for the RZ LP because halfway through, Jake is going to be like, 
But what if we tried having measles? You know, it's just it's kind of different. It's it's like unique. You can you can have a story about it near the water cooler. But like, come on, Michaela, butt cancer. <laughs> God damn guys okay <laughs> i get it I, I you know if you wanted to kiss a crocodile i would do it i'm just saying if i had the choice there's a crocodile from one piece is kind of hunky all right <laughs> I think we can stop there. Yeah, that's good. <laughs>